caring for a child with abilities that lie outside of the norm can be difficult, but it can also be very rewarding. As a partly dependent child grows into adulthood, social services such as the Ontario Disability Support Program or ODSP become a crucial aspect of the child's supporting system and can help foster a sense of independence in your child. Inheriting assets from parents or grandparents, while always done with good intention, can be very disruptive to the careful balance since an increase in assets can render the child ineligible for the ODSP. So what to do? For the parents and grandparents of partly dependent children, a tool that ought to be considered is the Henson Trust. Let's take this example for instance. A Guelph resident, Leonard Henson, cared deeply for his daughter, Audrey, who lived in a group home and relied on an allowance from the Family Law Act, now similar to ODSP payments, and on her father's support. Leonard carefully planned for the future needs and protection of his daughter by placing a substantial portion of his savings into an absolute discretionary trust before his passing in 1981. Think of a trust as a tool that separates ownership from benefit since this is possible legally. For instance, you can give $20 to your brother and say, you own it, but you can't use it. You must instead take care of it and it must be given to my daughter exactly 10 years and 45 days from today. This is exactly what Leonard did. However, he took it one step further by making it into an absolutely discretionary, which means in the example above, he took out the exactly 10 years and 45 days from today rule. The result in the example is that your brother has the full discretion to decide when your daughter gets the $20. So, an absolute discretionary trust is one in which the person setting up the trust, the settler, has given up all of the strings of control and regarding which the person benefiting from the trust, the beneficiary, cannot access at will or based on any condition other than the discretion of the trustee being the person entrusted with the asset. Now back to Leonard's story. The Ministry of Community and Social Services understood the trust he set up to be a gift to Audrey, and so they halted Audrey's allowance payments. The Social Assistance Review Board reversed the ministry's decision on the grounds that Audrey did not have direct access to the assets, and as such, it shouldn't be counted as an asset under her ownership. This decision was upheld in 1989 by the Ontario Court of Appeal, and it meant that Audrey's social assistant payments would continue. So, when is a gift not a gift, and yet the person gifted can benefit from it? When, of course, it is an absolute discretionary trust. Audrey's good fortune created a roadmap for other partly dependent children in Ontario, whether their differing abilities be cognitive, developmental, physical, or mental. Such a framework is also available for families in the British Columbia, Manitoba, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and PEI. Now, it isn't just about the Henson Trust. It's also about the review of the trust document by the government offices that administer the ODSP. They must assess that trust document and conclude that it is indeed a Henson Trust. This is important since, just as every partly dependent person is unique, the Henson Trust document drawn up for each is also unique. There simply is no one-size-fits-all. Yet, that unique document must obey some key rules established by the one drawn up years ago by Leonard's lawyer. Thirdly, it is about who is chosen as a trustee. It is important to identify a good trustee, someone or an institution like a bank, that can manage the trust with a clear mind and good character for a long time, until the trust runs out or the beneficiary passes on. The trustee will be responsible for releasing funds, managing and investing assets, and preparing records and tax returns, among other things. A Henson Trust is often established in a will, but it can be created at any time. The benefit is that a will is activated only after the settler passes on. Trusts that are activated before the settler passes on are taxed at a higher rate. If you believe that a Henson Trust may be a good option for you, and you are a resident in Ontario, we can readily assist you as estate planning lawyers at afolabi.law. We have offices in Ottawa and Toronto and can provide services in most other parts of Ontario. There are a number of ways in which leaving an inheritance to a child with different abilities can unintentionally go awry. We are committed to ensuring that that does not happen to your child or your family. 
Visit us at afulabi.law to get started.